only are we taking that individual off the street, solving, helping law enforcement solve those crimes, but we're also helping individuals pay their bills, put gas in their car. The East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers group says it saw more tips than ever before in the month of June. The group credits inflation. To explain why, we turn to tennis reporter Fernando Garcia, Francis Sheeney. Oftentimes when law enforcement brings us their cases, it's because they've gotten to the point where they need leads. They're asking for the community to input, give them something. And that's where our tipsters step in. The East Tennessee Valley Crime Stoppers is a nonprofit that works very closely with local law enforcement agencies. It started just over a year ago in May of 2021 and coordinator Stacy Payne says this past June was the busiest month they've had. We averaged about 21 tips a day. She says from what she's heard from tipsters, inflation could be the driving force behind that rise in tips. They would have given us a tip regardless of the reward money. They want that crime solved or that person off the street. But with the economy being the way it is, they could really use that money. And then we've had some reward recipients will turn around and tell us, thank you. This is really gonna help me pay my bills. Pay, buy those groceries, pay for my gas, whatever it may be. Rewards are usually about $1,000, though Payne says it can vary from crime to crime. She says regardless of whether a person needs the extra money or not, tips can be crucial to keeping the streets of East Tennessee safer. No matter how small you think it is, it may be just what is needed to solve a crime. In Knoxville, I'm Fernando Garcia Francis Sheeney. And again, with Crime Stoppers, you can leave a tip without leaving your name.